numerator denominator combination if you go numerator denominator into 100 because it's all the ratios here expenses ratio they are asking us to calculate then i got how much 35 percent that is 35.89 or you can write 35.90 percentage then you are supposed to go with purchases plus wages then minus the closing stock closing stock closing stock Hello everybody, a warm welcome to one and all. I'm Abhilas Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the 12th session here. Now when we go with the 12th session of analysis of financial statement, please understand in this chapter itself, we have ratio analysis and we'll go with the next problem. But before that, let's understand the formulas. Now when we go with the formulas, now I have given you the basis here what exactly the formulas are all about. Now we go with profitability and management efficiency to know the management efficiency we are supposed to use few of the techniques. Now the last session I told you about the gross profit, net profit, operating profit, expenses and all other things right. So what exactly they are? The first one is the gross profit ratio where how to remember it, gross profit divided by net sales into 100. So here when we go with into 100, what exactly happens here is, who are the party who are interested? Now shareholders, long term creditors, now the government is also very much concerned about how much is your gross profit ratio. In the industry norms, 20% to 30% is what that is really good. Next one we have is net profit ratio. So net profit divided by net sales so here net sales now what exactly it is here is please do understand net profit divided by net sales into 100 so it's not here so it's what into 100 that is you can actually write see both are the same but how exactly we'll write is the same people who are interested is the shareholder long-term creditors and the government and here it is five percent to ten percent is the net profit which says the company is doing good Next is a return on capital employed. Please understand return on capital employed when you go net profit into 100 divided by capital employed. Now capital employed, I have solved n number of problem. You can actually go back to the sessions and go with it. Again, here what happens is the parties interests are the same thing. Now there is no industrial norm for the uh, return on capital employed. So these are the formulas, please do by had the formulas, understand the formula. See example, gross profit is there. How will you go with it? Numerator, denominator combination if you go. Numerator, denominator into 100 because it's all the ratios here. Numerator only you write gross profit. Denominator, how will you actually calculate profit? Through sales. So it is net sales. So here same numerator, denominator into 100. Net profit only you put it in the numerator. Denominator is what? Net sales. That is how you are supposed to go with. Now, when you understand these things, you are supposed to go with the next one that is written on proprietor fund. See, proprietor fund, we have actually uh, gone with the calculation. Now it is what? That is the proprietor fund you are supposed to return. So what exactly? Proprietor after tax divided by proprietor's fund. Written on capital. Now capital we know. Profit after tax less preference dividend if you have in your problem divided by equity share capital. Now these are the parties who are interested. The next two we have is earning per share which is called EPS. Five marks question you will actually get here. How many questions? That is like five marks. You will get a question for calculation of EPS. Profit after tax less preference dividend. Any kind of a long term preference dividend you have you are supposed to subtract that. Divided by total number of equity shares. How many shares is there? That much you are supposed to divide it. Say 10,000 is there. So 10,000 you will actually divide. Dividend per share DPS. Dividend per share is total dividend paid to the ordinary shareholders divided by number of ordinary shares. So how much the number is? You are supposed to go with those number. Then you will get what? Dividend per share. For one share how much? 
that is what you will get it so let's go with the next problem that is the seventh problem again here we have a kind of a profit and loss account trading account here now the following trading and profit and loss account of fantasy limited for the year 31 3 2020 is given below now they have given something right so i told you how exactly we are supposed to do we are not supposed to think anything about the problem we are supposed to uh, go with the flow what exactly the flow is what exactly they want us to write what is that question is so for that question what is that we should do gross profit ratio they are asking us calculate expenses ratio they are asking us to calculate operating ratio net profit ratio and the last one is operating net profit ratio or if they uh, will give you only this much that is operating profit ratio also through operating ratio only i'll tell you how to actually calculate the operating profit ratio now what is that we should do write the formulas understand the formulas by heart the formulas right now say example now we have gross profit ratio what will be the formula gross profit ratio is equal to go with the numerator and denominator combination in the numerator you write gross profit because it is a gross profit formula gross profit should come gross profit done divided by net sales net sales into 100 it's all represented with the percentage now we have something called expenses ratio what is it expenses ratio so what should come here is equal to operating expenses operating expenses divided by net sales net sales into 100 like that we are supposed to go with the operating ratio net profit ratio and then we have operating profit ratio see operating operating ratio ratio what is that extra profit so that we are supposed to calculate so let's go with the first one that is our gross profit ratio again write the formula gross profit ratio is equal to now you should tell me what is that gross profit ratio formula did you remember that no here only we have gross profit means here also what is it gross profit gross profit divided by what net net sales into 100 so in the question we are supposed to identify what is the gross profit say here gross profit where exactly you will get gross profit that is here 2 lakh 1000 is your gross profit sales is how much 5 lakh 60000 is our sales so here we will write is equal to 2 lakh 1000 divided by 5 lakh 60000 into 100 is equal to now just check whether what you have written is right or wrong see here 2 lakh 1000 5 lakh 60,000 done. 2 lakh 1,000, 5 lakh. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here 1, here 1. So what has happened? 2010 divided by 56 is equal to. Now take your calci. 2010 divided by 56 is equal to 35.89. So I'll round it up. 38, sorry, 35 is there. So I'll write 35.89, I can write it, no issues, you can just write it and then put percentage. So this is my gross profit. Hope you people are able to understand this. I went with the formula, then I substituted it, then I got how much? 35%, that is 35.89 or you can write 35.90 percentage or you can write what? Or 35.89. 9-0 percentage. Both are correct. Let's go with the next one. The next one we have is expenses ratio. How much expenses ratio we are supposed to actually go with is equal to operating expenses divided by net sales into 100. So how much is the net sales here is equal to net sales we got to know 5 lakh 60 thousand into 100 we need to know what the operating expenses see here operating expenses where exactly we'll get operating expenses here administrative or administration expenses there that is how much 20,000 selling and distribution expenses there that is 
89,000. So, 89,000 plus 20,000 is how much? 1,9,000. So, this is my expenses, operating expenses, 1,9,000. So, I'll write here, 1,9,000. Now, take your Calci here, now 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here 1, here 1. So, we got 1090 divided by 5, 6 is equal to. Now, 1090, do it very fast. 1090 divided by 56 is equal to 19.46 percent. How much? 19.46 percentage. So, I got my expenses ratio. Say example here only, I'll just write. If they would have given... Apart from expenses ratio, they would have given administration expenses. Administration expenses ratio is equal to. Now, what is that you will do is very simple. They are not giving me the expenses ratio. They are asking me to go with only administration expenses ratio. So, what will I do is I will write here administration expenses divided by net sales into 100. So here, administration, how much was it? Just go back to your question here. Now in the question, the administration is only 20,000. The administration is only 20,000. I'll erase everything for you people. You will have a clear cut statement that is here. Administration is how much? 20,000. So what will I do is here, administration ratio, administration ratio or administration expense ratio is equal to 20,000 divided by 50. That is 5,60,000, 5,60,000 into 100. So that is what you will be writing here. So here, see example here we have. So what is this administration expenses? In the sense, administration was how much? 20,000 divided by net sales is how much? 5,60,000 into 100 is equal to. Now, whatever the answers you get, that becomes what? Administrative expenses ratio. So understand, see. All the formulas, whichever we actually get is what? Through the question only, we are getting the answer. That is how you are supposed to write. Next, what is that we have? Operating ratio. Operating ratio. If you have not watched the last session, please do watch the last session. I have given you how exactly you are supposed to calculate for the operating ratio as well. Now, operating ratio is equal to, go with this, cost of goods sold plus operating operating expenses operating expenses divided by net sales net sales into 100 so cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales that is what my operating ratio is now i need to understand what is my cost of goods sold is what is my cost of goods sold is whenever i go with my cost of goods sold cost of goods sold. Whichever is the direct expenses you are supposed to go with, the cost of goods sold. So which are they? Let me just go back to the question now. We have done all these things. Now we are in the question. Uh, let me erase all these for you so that you will have a clarity about each and everything. See, operating and the cost of goods sold is equal to what all you need to add is opening stock plus you need to add this one lakh plus then you are supposed to go with purchases plus wages then minus the closing stock closing stock closing stock see understand opening stock is how much 1 lakh so i'll write here uh, 1 lakh plus purchases is 3 lakh 50000 plus wages is 9000 minus closing is how much Again, 1 lakh here, 1 lakh. So this 1 lakh and this 1 lakh get cancelled. 3 lakh 50,000 plus 9,000 is how much? 3 lakh 59,000. So 3 lakh 59,000 is my cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold. That is how much? It is 3 lakh 59,000. Easy to get the answer. Now let's uh, write the same thing here also. Now we have solved all these things. Now here we are. So 3,59,000 plus operating expenses. How? We have only calculated. See operating expenses is how much? 
one lakh nine thousand. So one lakh nine thousand divided by net sales is how much? Five lakh sixty thousand into hundred. So if you calculate this, right? How much exactly you get? Three lakh fifty nine. So four lakh sixty eight is what it is. Let me just check. Three lakh fifty nine plus one zero nine is equal to four lakh sixty eight. So four lakh sixty eight thousand divided by five lakh sixty thousand into hundred is equal to now one two three one two three. Here one, here one. So what does that we got us? Four six eight zero divided by fifty six. So how much is it? Four six eight four six eight zero divided by fifty six is equal to eighty three point five seven. So how much we got operating is? So here we will write operating ratio is equal to eighty three. How much is it? Eighty three point five seven. Eighty-three point five seven percentage. So here, eighty-three point five seven percentage. Now, next is what we are supposed to find as net profit ratio. Which one? Net profit ratio. Again, for net profit, what is the formula? Net profit. Go with numerator, denominator. Net profit ratio. They are asking net profit, so write net profit. Net profit divided by Net sales into hundred. Net profit divided by net sales into hundred. Net profit. Go to the question now. Now we are supposed to uh, see the question here. So this operating is done. Expenses is done. Gross is done. Now these are the things which we are supposed to calculate now. Net profit. How much is the net profit here? Eighty thousand. How much? Eighty thousand. And the sales is how much? Five lakh sixty thousand. So go back to your answers now. Eighty thousand is what our net profit is. So I'll write here. Eighty thousand, five lakh sixty thousand into hundred. One two three four. One two three four. Done. So eight hundred divided by fifty six is equal to. Now go with the eight hundred into. Not eight hundred into it is eight hundred divided by. Fifty-six is equal to fourteen point two eight percent. So fourteen point two eight percent is my net profit ratio. Easy to calculate. See, the minute I get any of the ratio analysis, I'll not see what is given, whether it is the balance sheet or the profit and loss account or trading account. What is that? I'll see is I'll see the question paper. Where in that question paper, what are the questions they have asked me? So if I take the formula of it, I know how exactly I can go with the answer. Very simple. Next is operating net profit ratio is equal to. Now this is what the Abhilash Chandra trick is. Don't worry about what other faculties will teach you. This is how you are supposed to go. Whenever we go with this, please understand. The concept is simple. Whenever you go with the ratio, it is all for hundred percent, isn't it? Now. Hundred percent minus operating ratio. That becomes your operating net profit ratio. Say example here. Hundred percent minus how much is the operating ratio percentage? Operating ratio percentage here we have operating ratio percentage. How much is it? Eighty three point five seven. Isn't it? We have written how much? Eighty three point five seven. So I'll write here. Eighty three point five seven. Percent is equal to now you take hundred minus eighty three point five seven. Hundred minus eighty three point five seven is equal to sixteen point four three. So my operating net profit ratio is how much? Sixteen point four three. Sixteen point four three percent. This is my net. That is operating profit ratio. So this is how you people will calculate this. If you know the formula, the entire problem for ten marks or for fifteen marks, it's very very easy for us to get it. Any doubt regarding this session? Please do call us. We are always there to help you. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you.